Hey. Enough! I've had my fill of... What's this? Steady, men. Our guest has arrived. <laughs> All that chaos outside. For an instant, I believed you, woman. But she's only a common assassin. But you did fight, all the same. My men were here to fight. We're all here to fight! You want to talk? Set down your... You're... you're the Watcher at Cadnua? They said he was a senile hermit. Why have you come? Why now? You've come all this way to indulge your curiosity? It's hardly something to be proud of. Look to your own sins, Watcher. I'll not share mine. Does everyone in the Deerwood boast of their afflictions? I wouldn't know. Perhaps we simply worsen each other's condition. What? What is it? That wouldn't bode well for you, would it? I've a firm grip on my senses, whatever you believe. The Watcher's curse is many things, but if it promised madness, I would not have taken command of the Iron Flail. The memories I saw, some of them couldn't have belonged to you. You're awakened, aren't you? No, of course not. It seems a terrible thing to be awakened and a watcher both. I'm sorry. Yes, we were in the middle of something, I believe. The delegates? You tore through my camp, killed my men for them? You could have turned around! If not for the delegates, all of this could have been avoided. Stalwart sent delegates to discuss terms of peace. I offered them the opportunity. I was generous. But Stalwart sent soothsayers, not diplomats, to frighten us with stories of the moon going dark, the earth shaking. It's true. It's all true. The don't. Don't play the fool with me. These... Omens are meant to frighten me, to make me doubt my purpose here. But there is more at stake here than a village in the mountains. They dismiss my faith, call us superstitious. But what does Stalwart believe in? Iron and gold, and nothing else. 
I have tilled barren fields with my bare hands. What is gold to me? You're nothing more than a mercenary for a village of people unwilling to put their own lives on the line. With a village of fishermen, nothing. But they cling fiercely to the forge you gave them. Some of the men are here for gold and good steel, and I promised them their share. But I came for cannons. With the battery's cannons, we can hold the pass. Rayad Saris has suffered enough. Its sons and daughters have nothing. We... We won't survive an attack from the Deerwood when it comes. Not unless we act. There is an army coming. I've seen it. Pouring down from the mountain. It will crush Stalwart and come for Raid Ceres. The Iron Flail will be the wall that safeguards my homeland. From the worst these fire worshippers can bring to bear. I warn you, if you think to taunt me, Watcher... Why would they turn on their own? No. You're trying to trick me. This is all another distraction. Why should I believe any of this? You would say anything at all to protect Stalwart. That you're soft-hearted. But it hasn't seemed to stop you. And that you have seen and done a great many things. Things I would not have otherwise believed. We are nothing without our faith, and even you can't lead me astray. I'm sorry, Watcher, but I know this is the right path.
That's very helpful. That's not very helpful. Be cautious. Be constant. Lay in love. I'll keep an eye out. Here in a week's time. Should you be delayed in your travels, report to him as you would to me. He will enter the reliquary 
and call off the army of Ilus in my stead. If you are caught, sister, you know what you must do. I will pray for your return, but we will take comfort in the knowledge that you have joined the rest of Andra's favorite in her keeping. I'll see what I can find. Indeed.
How may I help?
if it makes I've got <laughs> I'm ready. Avaru, oh, beyond If it I heard ya. <laughs> Ugh. 
Lava Room Lava Beyond Sea. Beyond... Moe, Ixi. Helpful. These abominations stink of a god's cowardice. Hey. Yes? Hey. Hey. Nice and quiet. Hey. 